let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in the neighborhood. Surfing on the sound wave. Swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left that you'll be testing. Pick your second right past Mars on the Magic School Bus. Navigator. Not true. Climb on the Magic School Bus. Make a plane turn to. Take that. On our Magic School Bus. Drop the river of love. On the Magic School Bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride right on, right on the magic school bus. Everybody, Liz. And hey, let me clue you in on something. We're going to do something with Ms. Frizzle that you could never do in real life. For example, you could never really drive a bus into someone's mouth. And I don't care how little you are, you can't go scuba diving in somebody's small intestine. You know this, and I know this, and we all know you're smart enough to know what's real and what's not. When you're ready, click on the bus, and have some fun! Ready for adventure? There are so many places to explore, and so many games to play and experiments to try. We could be here all day, just talking about them. Click on the bus when you're all set, and off we go! I hope we get to study blood cells. We're going to do something with Miss Frizzle that you could never do in real life. For example, you could never really drive a bus to... When you're ready, click on the bus and have some fun! Oh. 
Magic School Bus. The mouth. Does the mouth really digest food? Sure, this is where food digestion begins. The mouth breaks the food down into smaller and smaller parts. And it's all downhill from here. Over the lips and past the gums. Look out, Arnold, here we come. We have different types of teeth to do different jobs. Our front teeth, the incisors and the canines, cut and tear food. Our rear teeth, the bicuspids and molars, crunch and grind food. Miss Frizzle, when do we get recess? Well, the mouth is just one of the many recesses in Arnold's body. Will it do? Watch out! Arnold's mouth is moving! He's starting to eat us! Relax, Carlos. Arnold's just talking. Our mouths also move when they shape sounds into words. Why is the tongue so sleepy? Because the baby teeth keep it up all night long. The tongue has about 10,000 tiny taste buds. Different parts of the tongue detect different flavors. There are four basic tastes. Sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. I know! Let's click on Ralphie's computer to play one of his video games.
Vitamins. Vitamins. Esophagus. E gus soft a E soft gus a Esophagus Remember Re bur mem Remember class and down the hat. Class, I'll make it plain. Now we're in the brain. Ralphie's computer to play one of his video games. Wahoo! The brain works around the clock. Even when you're sleeping, your brain controls your heartbeat, breathing, digestion, and other bodily functions. the nervous system. Why didn't the brain like the scalp? It thought it was a little too flaky. 
This great blob controls the whole body? That's no blob. That's the brain. It's got more than 10 billion nerve cells working round the clock to keep our heads above water. The human adult brain weighs about three pounds, but it can do more than any computer ever made. Maybe we should make a map of the brain. Now that's making headway. to the esophagus class and down the hatch. Hang on class, here comes the stomach. into a mushy liquid. The stomach often churns when there isn't much food in it. This causes the gases in your stomach to make gurgling sounds. That's why when you're hungry, your stomach often growls. If so, we'll just call Arnold's big tow truck. Arnold's stomach is changing shape. Look, it's the size of a hot dog when it's empty. But after a meal, it expands like the size of a balloon to several times its original size.
It's funny how my mind slips sometimes, but I can't for the life of me remember what the stomach does. Oh, Miss Frizzle, you do too know. The stomach adds digestive juices to food and then churns and mixes it together to continue breaking food down. Now, the act you've all been waiting for. Here's the small intestine. Okay, let's get the facts. The small intestine is just one long twisted tube that leads from the stomach to the large intestine. What did the surgeon say after he took out part of the small intestine? He said, that's enough out of you! Villi are small finger-like projections that line the inside wall of the small intestine. They absorb digested food particles into the blood. It takes about 24 hours to completely digest a meal. Is it just me, or is Arnold's small intestine giving us the evil eye? It sure is rough out there. I guess the motion helps move all the food around and close to the villi. This makes it easier for the villi to absorb the food's nutrients. Good absorption, Tim. So how come food has to be digested? Because our bodies can only absorb food that's been broken down into tiny pieces. Okay, let's get the facts. The main function of the large intestine is to absorb useful liquids from food leftovers. You're soaking up the science today, Keisha. I can see all kinds of stuff in here that the stomach can't digest. Corn kernels, seeds. What's the large intestine's favorite piece of heavy equipment? The digestive tract tour. After water and minerals are absorbed here, they go straight to the liver. Now that's what I call quick delivery. The large intestine. No ifs, ands, or guts. The large intestine takes all the food leftovers that aren't absorbed by the small intestine. The large intestine then absorbs the water from the waste products, and the waste products then leave the body through the anus. intestine works like a big sponge. It absorbs water from the mixture of digested food and draws it back into the body.
Does anybody know what the large intestine consists of? The colon, the cecum, the appendix, and the rectum. there and welcome to MSB TV. As a producer on this project, I just want three things to be very clearly understood. To find out what those things are, click on one of our three stations. A school bus can enter someone's body and kids can go on a tour. True or false? False. That could not happen in real life, not even to Arnold. But we had to make it happen. Otherwise, this science adventure would have been about a trip to a science museum instead of a trip through the body. White blood cells actually chase and destroy germs. True or false? True. As unbelievable as it seems, real white blood cells actually behave just like the ones in this product. I mean, there aren't really little police cars actually streaming through your body, but white blood cells do act like police cars. They really do chase after germs and destroy them with the purpose of making the body healthy again. Like the kitten around game in the kidney. 
Well, you know there isn't really a car wash in your kidney, but the kidney does work like a car wash, cleaning all the blood that passes through your kidney every second of the day. What can I say? Artistic license? Ms. Frizzle really knew where Arnold was the whole time, true or false? Probably true. No one is absolutely sure, but most people think Miss Frizzle knows everything. should know his insides as well as you do.